Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm running. Today I'll be discussing how to be happy. It is not impossible to see people that have everything and they are not happy. They have houses, they have cars, they have children, they have money and still they are not happy. On the other side, it is not impossible for us to see people that don't have all those things that I've mentioned and they are very happy. So it depends on our choice. Happiness is a choice. If you have chosen to be happy, you're going to be happy. If you have chosen to be sad, you're going to be sad. Because sadness is not good. It's not good at all. Sadness can put one into depression. And you know what that is? Depression is a mental health condition. It is not what you have or the level you are that determines your happiness. It is your mindset that determines how happy you will be. If you want to be happy, you need to follow these 10 things that I'm gonna discuss in this video. The first thing is for you to be kind to others, but be selfish with your kindness. If you are kind, it's good. But the selfish aspect of it is for you to think about yourself first as number one because nobody's gonna place you as number one in their life if you are not being a bit selfish with yourself with the way things are all your time will be spent on people and all your finances will be spent on people and at the end of the day you, are, you will not have time for yourself you will not even have your money that you've worked for you will not have it for yourself so try and satisfy yourself and there are some people that they just need your crumbs to survive so try and be kind to other people number two practice self-acceptance in the sense that whatever level you are whatever level you find yourself accept it and try to walk your way up from that level that doesn't make you to be sad don't be sad with whatever level you are try and still be friends to your, your friends who are millionaires because you can only gain from them you can even if they are not giving you money you can gain ideas you can be exposed even if you start up your business they can be your number one customer don't run away because somebody is a better than you in some situations don't be sad in any circumstance you find yourself always try to improve it may even be your shortcomings try and accept that this is my shortcoming and, and try to walk yourself out of the flaws you need to set big goals very big goals for yourself don't even think you cannot achieve it set big goals for yourself where do you see yourself in two years time where do you see yourself in five years time where do you see yourself in 10 years time all that will keep you going and will make you to be happy the book I've just launched, Musumola, I wrote it 10 years ago. Though when I wrote it, I did not know how I was going to publish it. And I was having hope that one day, one day, this my book is going to be published. I wrote a lot of other scripts. Those goals kept me going that one day, one day. And that was giving me a kind of happiness in my heart. So try and set goals. With the goals you are setting, Try and have structure for yourself. Okay, you've set a goal. Maybe you are working somewhere and uh, you have a goal for yourself that, okay, in two years I want to do this. So try and write it down. After work, what do you do after work? One hour after work, I'm going to give it to my goal. Then you get back home after resting, before you go to bed, you pick your pen, you write your plans, you to start to implement your plan, all that will keep your mind busy and it will take your mind away from whatever that may give you sadness so if you have a structure if um, at any time you come back home from work you know you have a gloomy day but you can always get yourself away from the gloominess and because you have a structure you know that there's something to do that will take you away from the gloominess and you're back on track and your happiness continues four is for you to do self-affirmation every day self-affirmation write it down on a piece of paper 
because uh, a little number of us have gone through one, one thing or the other you may have been told in the past that you are so ugly <laughs> you may have been told in the past that you are short you may have been told in the past that you are too tall you may have been told in the past that you are too big you may have been told that you are too slim you may have been so told that you you are not doing well academically all that will start to play in one's mind and that will be giving you a low self-esteem and because of that try and have a self-affirmation that you read to yourself every day at least once in a day you, you maybe you've been told you are, you are ugly say oh i so 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 person i am so beautiful i'm the most beautiful person in the whole world you can even stand in front of the mirror make all that declaration for yourself number five is for you to be optimistic be optimistic try to always have positive thoughts in you leave negativity alone if you are doing anything have it at the back of your mind that it's going to be successful you need that in life you need it that will make you to have progress when you, you are not afraid to do anything because you know that once you do something is success you're gonna get out of it it's a positive outcome that is gonna get out of it number six is for you to focus on what you can control in this life we always have something that you know we'll be praying for something you can't have everything just to have it in mind you cannot have everything sometimes you have you know so much on this side and on this side you don't have enough so try and balance the two um <laughs> mix it together the after of god days yeah let this one overshadow the one on the right try and focus on your strength that's your strength that one will cover up for what you haven't got number seven is for you to limit your news consumption so much bad news these days don't you know you listen to the news you are cringy oh my god is it the end of the world what is happening in this world you get scared so try and limit your news consumption once a day is good and don't watch news proud to you going to bed because it might prevent you from sleeping Number eight is for you to be socially connected. Be socially connected, have some friends, go out with friends, have nice time with friends, go to a restaurant with friends, go and watch films together, attend functions with your friends. If your friends invite you to their functions, go there because you may need them when you two you are having your own function. And um, meeting people at the function dancing you know the, the music when you get home you keep on hearing the music you might even hear it the next two three days you keep hearing it in your subconscious mind all those things would make you happy it's engaging your mind number nine is for you to let go of grudges let go of grudges how do you let go of grudges you have to understand the principle of fault and responsibility because if somebody has done bad to you, that person's got a fault. But you don't have power to change that person, to stop, to fault you. The person might take pleasure in hurting you, but the, the responsibility that is on your side is for you to stop them from hurting, from abusing you. And with that, you'll be able to let go of grudges. That makes your mind to be free and you'll be happy within yourself. Number 10 is for you to enjoy your money. Going on holiday, you lodge in an hotel, you... It's different from home, isn't it? They serve you, you're happy, you wake up in the morning, you go to their lounge, or you order food into your room, you eat. Enjoy your money. If you don't enjoy your money, there are people there. There are people out there that are ready to collect all your money from you. They'll just give you news they just pack up stories for you and they will take your money away from you so in go and do check up to make sure you are okay if there's anything that is not okay fix it up use more your money take care of yourself you will be happy when there's no sickness thanks for watching my video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you again. Bye.